All right, I'm looking at another Zordal today, or x ordal or cross ordal or whatever you want to call it. But basically the way this works is it's like two wordles overlapped on the same grid. So we're trying to find two words and each of the clues, so like the S and the A here, could be in either word. But you can't have the same letter in both words. So let's see, obviously I want to use the S and the A in different locations. Um, we could do something like Saint maybe? Ooh, okay. So that was good. Uh, now, interesting. So, so we could do, you know, maybe TI at the beginning. Um, not necessarily, but that seems reasonable. Uh, I would say something like tight, but we don't want to do a double T. Uh, it'd be good to use some other letters that we haven't used yet. We could do tiger. That's pretty good. Okay. So there is an R, so interesting. So the I, unless there's a word that starts with an I, the I is gonna be maybe fourth seems like the most likely spot for the I at this point. Maybe something like with an R, O, something like that. Could do something like, Choir, but again, the R isn't at the end. Otherwise, that would be really good. CH would be good to try, but Chris, that's a name. We could do something like Frock that doesn't help us with the I or the T, but it does check for an O and a new spot for the R and some new letters. Let's try that. Okay, well, I guess we've eliminated some more letters. So we found the O, still don't have the T, the R, or the I. So interesting. So I don't think the A and the O are going to go together. So I think those are going to be in different words. Now, if it's S A, if it's S A something N, what's gonna what's gonna go at the in the middle there? Don't like that very well. So. Hmm. I don't know. All right, we need to find the T, the R, and the I, I think. So, we could do something like, int no, intra? That's not terrible, let's try that. Okay. So, I mean, we're narrowing down the locations for the I, the R, and the T. So the R has to be first or third, the I has to be fourth or fifth, the T has to be second or fourth. We still don't know what comes at the so something has to come after the N on one of the two words and it can't be a T Or a K or a G Maybe a D something O N D or if It's O N D then the I the T the R and the A would and the S <laughs> Would all have to be in the other word Unless you have the S I guess in there, but the I couldn't be in there. The T it would have to be second. So I don't think that works. O N D doesn't work. And if it's not, if it was N D without an O, what would you put? It would have to be. Can't be the I. It would have to be an A, but then you'd have A A, and that's not gonna work. A Y. I don't like that. Okay, so what's gonna come at the end, unless it's an I, or an O. If it's an O, it would have to be O and O like this. Something like, Phono? <laughs> I don't think that works. No, that's not gonna work. And it can't be A, it would have to be an I, I think. Or a Y, you could have a Y. We could have a Y there. That's not bad. O and Y might work, but I don't know how that works with the other letters. So let's see, something T R I maybe? With maybe a D at the end, is there anything like that? Well, not with the D, but we could do strip. That's not bad, because I, I mean, there's only two spots left for the I, the R, and the T. And this is gonna check one of them. So we will have located the I, the R, and the T at this point. 
Okay, so the R has to be first on one of the words. So it's got to be R-A, which means the other one is S-T. It's not going to be R-A-O. So I think it has to be S-T-O. The other one is going to be R-A something. It's not uh, S-T-O-I. Stoic? No, we don't have a C. So I think S-T-O. It's got to be S-T-O. The other one is going to be R-A... Rapid. Rapid. And then S-T-O-N-Y. Stony. Rapid and stony. Rapid and stony. Okay. Whew. That was a tricky one. So part of the problem with this one, I think, is all of the letters are fairly normal letters. And so there's just a lot of possible words you could make with these letters, especially with all the yellows. So. Uh, a little bit of trouble in the middle there, but I got it in the end. So let me know how you do with today's Zordal, and be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Oh, it could be... We could still have an S there. This could be artsy. <laughs> We're putting a lot of R's in the grid. So there, and there. There we go. <laughs> All right, that was an easy one. Decided? Maybe. <laughs> so, so doing eight words blindfolded isn't hard enough. We could do spool or after or spoof and alter either way. Oh, we could do whiz. There we go. Okay. Woo.